Kid Craddock in the morning. The Showbiz Top 5. Hey, it's Kelly Raspberry with your Showbiz Top 5 for Tuesday, February the 16th. Bar Raffaele was photographed wearing a little something something on the third finger of her left hand. And of course, as we learned from Selena Gomez, when she stopped by in studio with us this morning, that doesn't necessarily mean a girl is engaged. It could be just a lovely family heirloom. In Barr's case, we don't know if it was an heirloom, but we know it was not an engagement ring. Sources say that her on-again boyfriend, Leonardo DiCaprio, did not pop the question to her on Valentine's Day. Ronnie and Sammy spent the first season of Jersey Shore snuggling up in lust, in love, whatever you want to call it. But ever since the season finale, or they had that reunion show actually on MTV, things started to fall apart and they only went from bad to worse. They are no longer even speaking to each other, only if absolutely necessary, if it's show related. And they're even refusing to be in the same room together. In fact, the two of them were supposed to be at a club in Chicago on February the 4th, and then at a club in Toronto on February 14th, and both of them were no-shows. Radar Online says they've got the exclusive story that Charlie Sheen's wife, Brooke Mueller, is in rehab to be treated for an addiction to crack cocaine. This is not the first time she's been in rehab for that. It happened several years ago before she and Charlie ever hooked up. But now she's got baby boys. Time to get her life in order. Now, sources say her mom's been trying to get Brooke to go to rehab for quite some time. In fact, a couple of weeks ago, she dragged Brooke to rehab in North Carolina. Of course, Brooke's people are saying, no, 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 it's just for spa treatments. Even though it's a rehab facility, they have great massages and facials, whatever. Nobody was really buying that. But then when Charlie had to be in an Aspen courtroom, because remember he attacked her on Christmas Day, he had to face charges for that. Plus, uh, Brooke was wanting the terms of the restraining order lifted. She wants to be able to communicate with her husband. So that she left rehab to go to Aspen. Then the two of them went back to LA and sources say she went on an all night bender was boozing it up, even with Charlie at some point during the night, although, although we hear he refrained, but that she was drinking, and then after he left, she continued to do so, got into just a stupor, and the next day went to rehab. Now, even though Lindsay Lohan went on her Twitter to defend Samantha Ronson and say that despite rumors, Samantha never has laid a hand on me, things are still not patched up between the two of them. They were at a club last week, it's called Boyer in LA, and apparently when Lindsay left the club, she went to the police officer standing outside and said, hey, you need to go stop Samantha Ronson and pull her over because she's been drinking and driving. So no, no love lost between the two of them, but at least Samantha's not, or Lindsay's not gonna let false rumors circulate about Samantha. Now Rihanna reportedly has gotten a big movie part. Barry Gordy did this movie called uh, The Last Dragon back in the 80s. It's a kung fu cult classic. They're going to remake it. The lead is Samuel L. Jackson and we hear that Rihanna's been cast as the kinky dominatrix in the movie and the producers are hoping she thoroughly researches that role. Maybe that's why she's wearing all the bondage and spiky things whenever she's on stage lately. It will not be Rihanna's first stab at acting. She had a little a cameo appearance in the 2006 movie Bring It On, All or Nothing. So it'll be quite a departure for that. I think in that movie she played herself, so no big stretch there. But a kinky dominatrix? Who doesn't want to see that? And that's your Showbiz Top 5 for Tuesday.